Hi there everybody and welcome back to another episode of Pillars of Eternity. Today we are back visiting Durgan's Battery. Um, this one that changed, I don't need to sell that shit as well, I'm going to use it. Um, hmm. Where am I Drogon? Sure! told you come and uh, visit Drogon's Battery, or Durgan's Battery, so here we are, I'm visiting Durgan's Battery. Damn, it's an escort, Sagane. Say this is stealing. This is my battery. You want me to go back up there after nearly losing my leg? You still got it, don't ya? Yeah, man. Well, my stranger, he scratches his head. Wait, I know you. You're the one that cracked the jelly jar in the first place. He laughs and he claps him. you on the back. In that case, well, man, indeed, and thanks for the job. He leans forward and shakes your hand. As he, as he does, you notice that he's hurting his right leg. His left hand is roughly bandaged. I shouldn't talk too, uh, too long or I'll get, get an earful. He glanced over his shoulder. What happened to you? Bad hip that got worse after a night. Skull most rot cut. He lost, but he's wincing too. It'll heal, just gotta fix up this place. Just gotta fix this place up before anything else falls apart. Well. The back of the Orleans head is a patchwork of singed green brown fur and a dark scar rippled flesh. She notices you and jumps back a foot. One of her staring eyes is gold and the other hazel. She flicks. Her left ear, which is little more than a nub on her skull, at least at last she realized. I think we found Horavius's mom. Ha! Took you for one of them red sarens. Then I saw you had all your teeth. Ha ha ha! Um, I'm gonna load. The reason I'm gonna load is. Ravius won't have side quests here, but um, I don't have a rogue with me. So I'm going to swap Pelagina 8 out for... Ravius, I think. What's this? Bruised ribs. You know what? I'm gonna swap Pelagina out. I'm gonna keep Pelagina. I am gonna let the barbarian go rest. They are expansion characters and they're not really. Oh man, I have to do their stuff. I have to do their stuff. I wonder if 
that dude's got new bounties on the chicken, he's got new bounties, completely forgot about that as well. Please, someone has to do something. Piss off, Kern, I got enough problems. I don't know what the point of the is hardly believed in the first place, but I've never seen Renner go so giddy about it. Here you are! I was top quality bear pe- Okay. See you when I see you. I think let's... Let's see how this goes. Then okay, never mind. Just monitor the force of nature allows him more hurt automatically conditional burn damage when shape shifted. I'm shocked. Offensive. Polar is not flail one for bow. Battle axe sword morning star and crossbow. Let's do that. Just say if I stop now. Hey there. Put her there. Put her there. Sure. <laughs> I 
Angie, did we not do this woman's thing? Iron Flare, Angie, Red Seven Four. Freezing Mother, yes. Oh, okay. Oh, so we still need to do that. Her stuff is bought too. So he's breaking up his weapons. So I know. Medium. This guy is fucking ugly. Oh, crit damage. Dexterity. Accuracy. Roots. Constitution. Defense. Damage of five targets. Movement speed. Reflex. Reflex. Suppress okay. affliction. Swap endurance. Not all the rings I got. No. Okay, that thing. Speed Knockdown Crit damage taken Constitution Oh, oh those are my helmets as well Appearance per kill The accuracy as well I have that fucking face of yours. <laughs> you ugly motherfucker. You pop should have wore rubber. Yeah?
<laughs> Took you for one of them red sarins. Then I saw you had all your teeth. <laughs> okay. Hang on, gotta talk into my good ear. Now, what was... Say, ain't I seen you somewhere? I reignited the White Forge. That's it! Felt those aftershocks all the way in Stalwart! Must have been a real side up close. All that fire. What are you oh. doing here? Oh, uh, you know, clearing tunnels, blowing old barricades, just tidying up. But soon, I've got to start testing the cannons. It was a top two, was not it? Okay. Is that about time? We held them off a few weeks ago, but they didn't run far. Set up a fort in the woods, and I hear they're working on some really fantastic siege weapons. There must be something you can do. <laughs> there sure is. Once we have the heavy cannons, that is. What's the problem with the heavy cannons? They're all the way up there. I, I sent a crew to the tower, but they came back complaining about Skuldrak and the other nasties. Nearly took Kolmar's leg off. Skuldrak did, I mean. I could look into it. That'd be a big help. I'd hate to let those beauties go to rust up there. And anything you find up there is yours. Batteries full of treasures, and the West Tower has hardly been explored. Head through the door and up the stairs. That'll get you to that rampart. Yeah, Coolmar cleared the rubble before he took to getting himself conveniently injured. Meantime, I'll check on our black powder stock. Okay. Not great at all. Let's go into my battery. My battery. Damn girl. Yeah, that tied it up. Tower. That looks like it hurt. That's it. That looks like it hurt. Another dragon. I can do that. Definitely to get Lucina's back. Sure. Okay, I took on steel. I think 
this place? What's the thing? Oh, we forgot to win Mm-hmm. I'll tinker with that. What could go wrong? Sure. That is written in a fine script. The lever for the artillery lift has been uh, broken. Again, I've been telling my men to do be to be as careful as possible while using the lift, but it's difficult to keep your balance on that thing. One bump nearly sent a handful of them off the edge. I'd rather they break the break lever or keep their balance than fall off. Unfortunately, it was a clean break this time. We'll need this lever as soon as possible. Scroll across the bottom of the thing is an additional note. If your men stop taking up so much ammunition at the the time this wouldn't be a problem this will be the last lever you ever get next time you're just getting a rammer hmm take a look at that Dwarven lever I can do that I can do that all done Looks like it hurt. I will sacrifice a deer in a time for this combo. Sure. Uh huh. Hey there. How may I help? Show him how it's done. Uh huh. That looks like it hurt. Hey there. All done. Stiletto on end interrupt damage with the rest of the abide by this max speed
Ja. Need something? Quiet. Creatures disgusting as uh, disease pudding could be so useful. The ability to not only prevent metals from rusting but to remove rust entirely is astounding. I can only imagine what sorts of contraption we can devise without having a worry world, without exposing I am to the elements. As always, I get ahead of myself finding these creatures already a, a chore. Keeping them properly contained is nearly impossible. I was lucky to acquire what few I have. I'll tinker with that. What could go wrong? All done. Hey there. Good thing I sold most of my jewelry. Hmm, take a look at that. There's been poison attack survival perception. Don't mind uh, range damage accuracy. Damage reduction. Hey there. Oh, 
left will be closed until further notice the cogs are rusting and any failure in the mechanism could be catastrophic P potion master Ad Adrian Andrin is looking into p patterning patinating the cogs to make them a weatherproof perhaps we should take the stairs Yeah, he appears to the hole in the white sunny pipes running along the wall, several feet along the wall. You see you see a broad crack, it appears to lead to another room. Now, always be on the other big or what most run follow you and continue in the distance. Turn to the ledge. You will. You reach the crack in the wall and noxious eye wa uh, watering vapor seeps from um, within. Use a hammer and chisel to widen the cracks. It's slow, tedious work, and by the time you finish, exhaustion has crept through your body. The iron shirt masonry crumbles away, and a stinging vapor rushes through the breach. Try to hold your breath, but you gasp a searing lungful of the gas, and you cling to the ledge, fighting the strain of your muscles. Enter the room through the widened crack. You can do it in your cleared room. Nice and quiet. in the alpine dragon's lair after it's been slain. The alpine dragon is apparently the strongest dragon. Oh, 
cause shudders and motion lifting you towards the clouds. Transburning like the dead. There's the sharp metal odor emanates from one of the uh, winches. You hear screeching at first, you think it's coming from the winch, but you realize it's coming from above. <gasps> the largest Skulldrug dies from the middle of the lift. It screeches, turn to hisses as it spews his thing as it across the platform. It scolds you, your own scream rings in your ears, and you he smell burning flesh. Smell the scold. The zips passed in tighter and tighter circles as they close. Meanwhile, the largest of the bunch is weeding back, preparing for another attack. And some of the fixed range. Uh, This one tells you now. There's no scammers as they towards the range for the Falls echoing in the dark shells guarding. Pulls away from the pack and flits towards the village and drawn by the ruckus. With a hiss hold up, spit a cup of acid into Bergen's face before flying away and rejoin the pack. Bergen is going to be a bunch of range and sets it to work on the jam trusting cogs. Unfortunately, the problem looks increasingly expected. Conflict, it's not clear how quickly or whatever prisoner can repair the winch. Continue to the winch. The largest water dives for the middle of the lift. Its creatures turn to hisses as it spews sizzling acid across the platform. It's called to your own screen. Yeah, 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 the smallest water zip. Yes. Prepare for an attack. Like stand in the center of the platform. You split up. And dash for opposite sides of the swaying platform. A loth trips in swinging motion since long. This guy. A loth rolls over the side but grabs the lip with foothold. Barely holding on, a loth calls for help. Of you check your own. Putting and look back to the center of the platform where the large quadrup is already descending. The beast dives to the middle of the platform spinning as if most of it lands on the tiles where it bubbles and sizzles, but you are caught in the spray. The beast flies away and disappears into the shadows of it. However, the smallest quadrup land on the platform and advance towards you. Bullseye! 
through it. Okay. What's the hurry? Let's relax a while. Dragon, I just know it. That's okay. You guys need some. That for me, a lot costs. Hey there. <laughs> Strong it is. It's crazy. What was this? Dragon's more shield. So I want an advance with fighter barbarian against the detection. Okay. Sure. The Optipo built this to last. Longer than they did, anyway. Private boiler. As you climb it to the suit choking air, you see the flames leaping in the distance. Each flame bathes you with warmth, and even as you struggle to pick out the details out of this place, something about it feels familiar. And tell me it's ring. You can see little through the thick smoke, but the dancing flames eliminating a dragon's head cast in st stone. It's the White Forge. As you start toward it, something massive like comes crashing down in front of you. You leap back at the sound of a slap metal slamming into the metal and feel a deep tone ringing through the thick hair. Recovering your bearings, you find yourself looking at an enormous hand. It's dark and shiny with heat, but you see every bone, muscle, and tendon working in harmony beneath the bronze flesh. The hand's owner is hidden behind clouds of smoke, but the hand itself is wrapped around a pole. Around a pole as thick as sturdy as a tree trunk. Hold on. Try to follow the arm to its owner, but the heat and smoke overwhelm you. You turn back, follow the pole. Continue onward to see what lies at the end of the pole and what's responsible for the clunkless music. Just the hand tries again. Let's swing this back down in a perfect arc. 
a tower of metal smashes down ahead of you, raining sparks and glints of essence as another deep ringing note sounds. You realize that you're looking at an enormous hammer that head glows with heat and essence through the purple lust of face. The soul energy is sucked from the hammer and into the work on it. Inspect the hammer. It's a block of black steel and dark and starless night and shiny enough that you can see your reflection in it. It's work of art itself, a study, uh, a study of simple yet perfect design. Get a closer look at the work. As the hammer rises once more, you dart forward to see what lies beneath it. Alone, figure sprawls on an expanse of steel as smooth as broad la uh, lake ice. The figure itself is, is enormous, a megaphone of twisted flesh and forged metal. Its arms end in two spikes. Two spike clubs and his head a blunt eyeless wedge. It opens his mouth and keys. Inspiration and the noise reminds you of a newborn's fear and confusion. Air rushes at your back. You look up and see the hammer, its head once more glowing with essence, speeding toward you. You awaken to the sensation of the warm tiles beneath your face, you're prone before the boiler which drones on, pushing heat through the tower floor. But in the vapor that passes from the boiler and pipes, you smell the fumes of the white forge. The dwarves chose the wrong god. There's nothing like Margren's heat to give an old cannon new life. What are you talking about? I don't serve Margren. Tower. What's in the east tower? Your shit head still didn't fix this. Weak. I can do that. All done. I'll tinker with that. What could go wrong? I can do that. All done. Done. Oh, these guys are so friendly. They're just giving me shit. I can do that. All done. I'm 
Just running around to do things. Shit, shit, shit. Okay. Read what I'm looting. was incredible! Whole Forge spit flames when you did whatever you did. And the smoke! Ha! I saw it from here! And now to see about these cannons. This is for you. Found it while we were cleaning out the battery. Uh, what's going on? No, how do these cannons work? Uh, if only I could show you. But everyone else is all worried about accidents and injuries. Shh. So they've said I can't fire them until there's a real need. They came out here a few weeks back and asked us to vacate the forge, real nice-like. When we told them to turn around or we do them like we did their fellow Widewin, things got rough. They went to their fort, but they'll be back for sure. Darien sent a group from Stalwart to Parley, but they never made it back. So it's a good thing you got these guns working. We'll be ready for those raid sarens when they come for us. What are you doing I'm taking you? care of these lovelies so they can take care of us. Really like a oh, back in Stalwart, I learned everything Tana knew about black powder, and a few things she didn't. Them she wasn't so happy about. After what might have been a small mishap in the Stalwart mines, they sent me here to put my talents to better use. I'm headed up oh. the tower. Gonna make those cannons shine. Okay, before I call it a day, let's uh, see if we can do something about that Alpine Dragon. Although I'm not sure I have the right warrior for this, but fuck it. Oh, which one's in this one? Is there? <sighs> Not really excited about this, to be honest. Dragons in this game is it's next level ridiculous. And the fact that you can't prep your spells, so you can't cast spells ahead of time to make sure. But when you do go into combat, they just trigger and start doing what they do best. Need something? Will do. Thank you to come in. Tell me. How may I help? I need you both. I'm here. So far. Need you to enter from this side. Hmm? You can trust me. 
I'm ready. Mm hmm. Hmm. I'm ready. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. What's that? Need something? How may I help? Need something? I shall. Yeah? I need you to craft. I'm here. Skills first. Mm. I need you to craft a deck challenge. Tell me. Already. I'm ready. I'm here. Got it. I I'm ready. You will be the better okay. Leave now. I just want to look around. Kill a kill. I can still peel the flesh from your bones. What's the problem exactly? Consider it indigestion. And consider yourself. Was that the rodent's name? I only know that he tasted mealy and lean. Centuries I've lived. I, while he lived, I can never be since I was. Eventually, I know I killed, I slaughtered. At last, only a handful of us were left. We were sickened by all we'd consumed and suffered. I eventually hunted down some of my missing siblings. Indeed. As interesting as this conversation has been, I've had enough of it. I'll take my ch Okay. Attack the dragon. You cost your this. Attack the dragon. Attack the dragon. You cost this. Need something? Shut.
feisty bitch. So that's how it's gonna go? Too long has it been since we made it. I'm gonna try once more if I can't do it, I can't do it, I'm gonna fucking screw that up, that over. Yeah? Things we need to attack from different angles. So I'm gonna leave I'm ready. Right here. Yeah? They're definitely coming from that side. Tell me! They're coming from there. What? You go there as well. Hey there! Come back there. How may I help? And you come there with me. What? As soon as the fighting starts, you're gonna move up. Up, up. Okay. I'm here. Leave. Now. I can still peel the flesh from your bone. Careful. I c Was that the road in century? Why? I can never be Eventually, I. I. At last. I eventually hunted down. In as interesting as this. I'll Work. 
Just don't know. I don't know what to do. I honestly don't know what to do. So it's gonna go. definitely not working so that armor is gonna be pointless can't level it up anymore I don't know how to kill a dragon in this game it's not impossible fuck that shit I've never had a game where you cannot defeat a fucking dragon it's so ridiculously overpowered anyway guys um, thank you for watching and I hope you have a fantastic day